the injury. Uh, I mean, how did you feel? And what, I mean, obviously, you played well uh, at the beginning and at the end. I mean, what was the key to kind of fighting through what you were dealing with? Um, I was sore, but I couldn't feel it. So I was just going to play. I wasn't going to try to play no different than I usually do. Um, as far as my performance, I just feel like I had a rough start shooting the ball to the season. And they just got it that they seen that, and they felt like they could live to take a shot. So. So you don't really have to grind that throughout the second half and down the stretch. Uh, what was the message kind of in the huddle after, especially after South Dakota State took that 51-50 lead? What was the message? I feel like basically like, just keep fighting. Uh, we was in a dog fighting. We let him get confident. So I feel like uh, with a uh, shout out to Amar, and Amar was a big time dog to give us that momentum. So I say uh, that play really was <coughs> proud to it to give us that momentum back. I think when we uh, started, we messed up that. Um, as far as defense, we had to feel like we shot stop while we stopped playing. Like, we should have been playing. Like, uh, me personally, I fouled the three point shooter, and I feel like that killed the game. Like, that's what we should have been getting. Play some bad strips. For no, I think you took four charges tonight at least. Just how did that feel when you're hitting the floor and on your lower back? And it also seemed like maybe you hit your face at one point there. Is that true? Um, yeah, I stepped through him. He, my nose was getting pushed in the head. So. The charges I've got some uh, Clark got me some uh, training got me some new uh, some new tight pads but I really ain't feel it so I just it was just taking the charge. I'm from James. Uh, Mark you you passed the thousand point career mark just you know, what does that mean to you and then did you know when I think it was in the first half did you know that that happened did anyone tell you? No, I, had, I had no clue at all I was going out there playing basketball with my team so. <laughs> Uh, this is for both guys. What what led to the lull? I mean, you guys were up 37-17. When you hit the three, you banked it in, Mark. You guys were rolling. What do you think happened to allow them back in the game, both of you guys? Uh, I say we got complacent, and they really showed. Uh, you know, we we got to do better at closing out uh, closing out games early and putting out putting out, just closing out closing out early, basically. And I feel like we didn't do really good at that. Yeah, I feel like keep our foot on the gas. Like I feel like. Hit that, and then we stop making something like I said earlier. You know, but we just got to voice our feet. And then uh, number 30, I think it was, hit some big shots. And we got to take away his opportunities. So. <coughs> kind of bouncing off that, what does a game like this kind of teach y'all um, as you're getting close to conference play about you know not taking your foot off the gas and finishing strong and get a big lead? Uh, we we got uh, to play everybody as if they're – like the number one team in the nation. That's how we got to look at every game, even if it's a team that doesn't have as much hype as they do. We just got to look at every team is like, and they're uh, just as good as us, basically. Right, possession I feel like we can show that tonight. Um, Mark, when Noah was driving charges like he was, playing defense like he was, how does that kind of energize the rest of the team and the rest of the defense? It gets the crowd into the game, and once you get the crowd in the game, that's very, like a big momentum swing, and it that like, gives you confidence that something big can <coughs> happen on offense. Any more questions? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.